Okay, so the question is, a hot air balloon is lifted up by a force of 864.6 newtons by its hot air balloon. It accelerates down at 7.9 meters per second squared, and it asks, what is the mass of the hot air balloon? So to solve this problem, the first thing you want to do is draw a force diagram. So in terms of a force diagram, I would say that you have the force of the balloon that's pulling up on it. So whether you call it buoyancy force or force of balloon, either one's acceptable. And then, of course, you have the force of gravity downward. And so interacting between these two, the F net equation would look like this. It would be F net is equal to the force of the balloon, since that's positive, minus the force of gravity equals mass times acceleration. So in this problem, what is given is the force of the balloon. We're also given the acceleration. So the question is, how do I find the mass? The problem is, without having the mass, how am I supposed to calculate force of gravity? So I need to remind you again that the force of gravity is really just m times g. And with m being unknown, at least I know what g is. g is always 10 meters per second squared. So that means I can substitute in for f of g 10 times m because m times 10 is the same thing as 10 times m. So what that would look like then would be 864.6 minus 10m equals, and since it's down, it's going to be negative 7.9. So again, I'll do that little switch again, negative 7.9 times m. So you'll see both, both sides of the equation has m in it. And it really just becomes an algebra problem. And so all I got to do now is, of course, add 10m to both sides, add 10m, and when I do that, I get 864.6 is equal to uh, 2.1, yeah. And then finishing this, I'll divide both sides by 2.1, divide by 2.1, going to my calculator real quick, 864.6. Go to the calculator, 864.6, 864.6 divided by 2.1 equals 411.7. So the mass is about 411.7. So mass equals 411.7 kilograms. So let's see if that's true. So let me escape 411. 7, check it, and we're good. So just pay attention to whether the acceleration is positive or negative. Obviously, if it's a positive acceleration, we put a positive number in here. But since it says down, you have to make sure you put your negative on there. Otherwise, the big trick here is making sure that you substitute 10 for g. m, of course, is unknown when you have force of gravity. And that's all we do. All right? So hopefully that helps. If you have more questions, feel free to email me at any time.